The refugee crisis is currently debated in Europe and there is disappointment that there is not enough Europe yet and that the European Union is not acting jointly together to respond to the refugee crisis. Actually, the refugee crisis is a global refugee crisis and so far the international community has failed to really respond with what is needed to assist refugees, particularly coming from Syria, which is the biggest individual group of refugees uh, worldwide, with 12 million uh, people displaced out of a global 50 million um, refugees. 8 million displaced inside the country, 4 million have moved into other countries, 1.5 million in Lebanon, 2 million to Turkey, others to Jordan, Egypt and further away to European countries. But no quick solution is in sight and therefore we do have to come to terms with receiving more refugees. The life in the refugee camps which exist in the region has been very difficult. Food rations have been cut several times because the international organizations did not receive the necessary funding. In addition, the uncertainty with the fighting inside Turkey against the Kurdish population and people do not want to be caught again in a war situation. What we see is more people arriving in Europe, but we have made it very difficult for people to arrive. Churches therefore have asked for safe passage to avoid that people drown in the sea or suffocate in lorries. We believe it is important to start from the region with helping to resettle refugees so that they do not need to embark on a risky journey. Refugee resettlement is an old and tested instrument which would help to resettle refugees so that they can start a new life, a new beginning with their families in a new country of asylum. The UN High Commissioner has pleaded to the international community to resettle 10% of the international refugees from Syria, which would mean around 400,000 globally. Currently, the figures offered do not meet this aim. We believe we really need to go for far higher numbers. Our colleagues in the US are advocating for 100,000 Syrian refugees to be resettled to the US. We believe Europe could resettle 200,000 Syrian refugees too in order to come to terms with uh, the biggest refugee crisis. This would then mean orderly arrival in Europe. Syrian nationals who have family in the neighboring countries and among Syrian refugees should be entitled for a wider family concept to allow to help their family members. This would not be a huge burden on society but really help to receive refugees too. Other instruments for safe passage will mean to allow people to travel inside Europe. When people have arrived in Italy and Greece, they very often find themselves stuck there with no perspective because Greece with the economic crisis does not provide jobs, does not provide opportunities. Therefore, a lot of uh, refugees want to move to other countries where they see an opportunity for life. We believe EU states and European countries generally need to become more creative as well and say, talk with the refugees, what can be done, what is the potential. There are some well-trained, the qualifications could quickly be um, recognized with language training, they would probably find a good job. There are others who require medical treatment and rehabilitation because of uh, war injuries first and there are specialized clinics in some countries which so far have not taken in refugees who could cater for particularly these specific needs. We know that some of this is regarded as bringing all refugees to Europe but the current figures do not really allow us such a judgment. We have a crisis that we have not prepared ourselves to receive more refugees. So this is where we think the reception standards as agreed by the EU member states in 2013 need to be used by all member states as well. All member states should receive 
And yes, it is challenging to find housing in Sweden, in Germany, in Belgium for the refugees arriving now in these countries. There is no capacity limit to receiving refugees. If we start to talk about capacity limits in Europe with a relatively small number, as Commission President Juncker has outlined last week, less than 1% of the overall EU population is a um, refugee. Compared to Lebanon with 25% of the population, refugee population, we should think how we can match this on an international level in a better way. It's not an easy situation and we need to use these instruments complementary to each other. It's not to only support the region so that refugees can stay. We need to support the region because the majority of refugees will stay in the region as they don't have another choice. But we also need to take out refugees from the region because they are at risk there. Women who have lost their husband and are alone with children are at high risk. Medical treatment is very often not affordable and available in the Middle Eastern countries for refugees. A good rehabilitation, however, makes it possible for refugees to restart their life on their own. Self-determination is a very important aim of finding durable solutions for refugees. And we would hope that churches can help their governments by providing the first needed shelter, um, help the societies to prepare, to welcome the strangers, to meet the other, and with that also meet our Christian calling of the other. In the other we see the image of God.